Everyone feels differently about the water. One person's paradise can be another's nightmare, especially if they can't swim. But regardless of the camp you're floating in, we're willing to bet that some of the scenes on this list will stay with you forever. Here are the 10 most unforgettable water scenes of all time. Titanic, sinking ship. Titanic is one of the most epic love stories ever, and made box office history when it was released in 1997. James Cameron's use of special effects was amazing throughout, but it's the sequence where the ship begins to sink that stands out the most. After a fatal collision, people on the ship are seen either scrambling for safety or preparing to meet their maker. Occasionally, the movie cuts to a perspective from one of the lifeboats, and the magnitude of the situation becomes even more extreme. The tragic scene is an all-encompassing experience, especially if you have surround sound. Jaws, Chrissy's Last Swim. Drinking, darkness, and the ocean are three things that do not go together. And if you've ever seen Jaws, you've probably thought twice about a late night swim. If you haven't, take the opportunity to learn from Chrissy's mistakes, because you never know when a human-eating shark is going to pop up. And when you're the only target because your stupid drunk boyfriend fell asleep on the beach, you'll wish you'd listen to us. For a movie set almost entirely on the water, there were lots of scenes to choose from, but this one scarred us for life. Casino Royale, Beach Bond. The Bond movies aren't known for their subtlety. Fast cars, fist fights, and explosions make up more than half the appeal. A new actor plays 007 every so often, and the change-ups always make entertainment headlines. The one thing that is for sure is that there will be a sexy new Bond girl in every installment. But in Daniel Craig's inaugural appearance as the super spy, he wasn't content to let the ladies have all the attention. Usually, there's a gratuitous shot of a bikini-clad vixen, but Casino Royale even the score a little bit. Not only did it mark the return of short swim trunks for dudes, it reinforced that the actor was physically capable of playing the part. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the second task. Magic is awesome. It's intricate and varied, and every writer uses it differently. In the world of Harry Potter, every wizard does too. During the Triwizard Tournament, fans watch as a handful of special students compete for the title. The participants are given tasks with only their wits to guide them. The second task has the wizards on a mission to save a loved one hidden somewhere in the Black Lake. Being a magical universe, there are some cool creatures lurking in the depths. And watching as the champions bend magic to their will is also pretty awesome. The Abyss. Brigman drowns. Ah, uh, James Cameron, we meet again. Except this time, it's something that's already underwater that sinks, and there may or may not be aliens involved. The diving team in the abyss seemingly hit every single underwater snag possible, and it's a pretty intense movie as a result. After a submarine sinks, American Navy SEALs team up with the crew of an underwater oil rig to investigate what happened. At one point, two of the crew become stranded with only enough oxygen for one of them, and the other drowns while being towed en route to safety. And the high-tension CPR scene that follows is equally emotional. Singing in the Rain Weather has a bad reputation in Hollywood, and it's the foundation for a lot of tragic stories. Directors love using rain to convey sadness or to give the scene a gloomy little punch, so it's easy to get caught up in the illusion that rain is the enemy. But the truth is, some people are just better at finding the sunshine. The Gene Kelly classic Singing in the Rain serves as a reminder that happiness affords a certain level of invincibility, and suddenly you're impervious to the annoyances involved in everyday life. So the next time you curse the weather gods for raining on your parade, turn the tables by dancing in it. Castaway, Losing Wilson when Castaway was released, people were wondering if one person could actually carry an entire movie. In Hollywood, when you want something done right, you hire Tom Hanks. The veteran actor captivated audiences to the point of hypnosis. It hurts to watch his character struggle, and viewers are drawn in by his strategic survival methods. When he feels triumphant, so do we. So when he loses his only friend on the way, it hits the audience just as hard. Once you step back and realize that millions of people have cried over a volleyball, the talent on display is hard to ignore. Inception, Falling Van there are a million unforgettable moments in Christopher Nolan's Inception, but the way the movie plays with its timeline can be hard to follow for some. Even though one of the characters gives an explanation, sometimes it's just easier to show people what you mean. The first dream level is set in a rainy city, where the team spends the majority of their time strapped down in the back of a van as Yusuf Hall's asked to a bridge. For everyone to wake up, the van has to fall off the side and hit the water. When it finally goes overboard, Nolan draws it out, cutting back to it between scenes to remind us that the clock is ticking. Plus, the suspended gravity created in level 1 is the reason we get that awesome fight sequence in level 2. The Little Mermaid, Under the Sea The Disney archives are a treasure trove of musical moments. Some are catchier than others, but the soundtrack for The Little Mermaid is nothing but gold. And since all the best arguments are delivered through song, Sebastian sings to Ariel about how awesome it is to live underwater. Under the Sea is a clever tune designed to show the mermaid all the amazing things she'd be leaving behind if she lived on land. And after listening to it on repeat for an hour, we kind of agree. That many happy fish can't be wrong. Fast Times at Ridgemont High the pool. 
All instances of hot girls getting out of pools in slow motion lead back to one place. Fast times at Ridgemont High. Phoebe Cates and the infamous red bikini have been turning a lot of heads since the movie's release in 1982. The scene featured heavily in the trailer and is still instantly recognizable today. Cates' character appears topless in a fantasy, then accidentally walks in on the person fantasizing. The scene is an odd mix of sexy and traumatic, so we're not sure how to feel. But we won't forget it anytime soon. Hey everyone, if you like this video, make sure you check out our friends at the CBR YouTube channel. They've got amazing new videos about movies, TV, video games, comics, and tons more fun stuff. Check out their latest video, subscribe to their channel, and don't forget to tell them that Screen Rant sent you. What do you think of our list? Know of any other unforgettable water scenes that should have made the cut? Join the conversation in the comments below, and if you like what you saw, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one.